Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I am absolutely jazzed to bring you this video and I would like to welcome all of you for joining me. Anyways, um, first off, quick shout out. Uh, I'd like to welcome a new subscriber. Anyways, before that shout out, uh, my little boy Michael just came to the bathroom and he would like to say hi to all of you. Come here, buddy. Guys, this is my three-year-old son, Michael. Say hi, Bubba. Hi, everyone. All right, Michael, we're going to say welcome to a new subscriber. His name is Bob Zeus. Can you say welcome to the channel, Bob? Welcome to the channel, Bob. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Okay, go to bed. Go to bed. Love you. Uh, Daddy, there's a bug on my wall. Honey, he says there's a bug on his wall. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, that's my boy Michael. Um, once again, welcome Bob Zeus. Um, he says there's a bug. We are having pincher bugs come in um, from the outside, even though our or our um, landlord comes out and sprays for bugs and spiders. We still get them in. Anyhow. But, uh, yeah, that's my boy Michael. He's my buddy. Anyways. So, once again, welcome, Bob. Anyhow. Tonight, this shave is... I'm going to be using pretty much all new products. Um... The only products that you have seen me use before on this, um, that I'm going to be using on this shave, is the razor blade, uh, the witch hazel, and the balm. Everything else is going to be items I have not used. Anyway, so let's take a look real quick at what items. The first item is the razor, which came to me as one of the razors out of that box of um, vintage razors, double-edged razors, that was, was sent to me by Johnny Palma, and it is this one, the M1, or 1967 first quarter British Knack. Um, the differences between the British Knack and the American Knack is the little band here. If you're not familiar with the NAC, which is K-N-A-C-K, um, the TTO knob is up here on the neck, not down here on the handle. And you just, you know, it opens up. Um, now, I know that the British, the English Slim Twist opens the same way. Now, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to research it. Um, I'm wondering if this is what, if the English, the British knack is what they call the slim, the slim twist over there in England. But anyways, um, the difference is, is that texture, the handle on the American neck is much more textured than this. This has vertical lines in the handle. Um, still feels plenty grippy and the TTO knob or band whatever you want to call it is more narrow here and the lines on it isn't as pronounced as the American neck. The American neck has a taller one more lines the lines are deeper and taller of course and the handle is much more textured and I believe this is a black handle if I remember right from my girlfriend and um the American knack, at least mine, has a blue handle. Anyways, the blade in this is a Gillette Silver Blue on its first use. I've used those in the past. The brush I just received today, um, Dennis O'Drain. He sent me a package, ordered me a package from um, Maggard's Razors um, a couple of months back which had the Parasso Green Soap, the Parasso Green Aftershave, um, the Fine Orange Noir 
soap, um, the Tops sandalwood, and a Maggert's, uh, a Maggert's, uh, synthetic brush with a brown, I think tan, marbled handle with a maple leaf on top. Well, he included another brush, which is one that I've been wanting to, to get my hands on and check out. Um, so thank you, Dennis, for the brush, and it is this one, the Razor Rock 400 um, Synthetic, from what I understand from Chris Bailey's um, video, when he got this brush, this knot is more like the Game Changer knot than the Plus Off knot, um, and it's got a little more backbone, so I don't know, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's an interesting brush. Uh, if I put this in my brush holder like this, if I put it on the neck, it falls straight through. But it's got this nice little ridge, and I just use a Vanderhagen stance, and it holds it just perfect. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that. The soap I also received from Dennis, and it is in, I put it in my, um, Conic Urban Woods tin, which the puck came in, and hey, Chris Bailey, if you're watching, check it out, dude. Uh, no dents, Super Safety Razors packaged it well. I received it with no dents. Anyways, I know he hates tins because of the denting, but I took and it's a limited soap. Uh, I just dropped it in here and kind of pressed it in because it was a little high sticking up. This is the um, Sterling, um, anyways, I had to step out and I asked my girlfriend, the name of this soap is Agar, or Agar. Absolutely beautiful scent, um, kind of cologne -y. Now, I was interested in it and I ended up, going on YouTube and seeing if anybody reviewed it and there was one gentleman that reviewed it um, and he said that they didn't even sell it in a full tub when they did have it. I don't know if they still have it but they didn't even sell it on, in a full tub. Agar or agar, what it is is there's a certain type of tree, I can't remember what that tree is, but it gets a fungus and this fungus um, I think he might have mentioned something about sap is involved too. But anyways, um, this fungus infects the bark of the entire, all the bark of the entire tree. And what they do is they go out and they find these trees and they go ahead and they strip all the bark off the tree and uh, scrape it off or strip it off. I forget exactly how. But anyways, they remove the bark and that, of course, is a death wish for a tree. So what they do is after they do that, they cut the tree down and then they go ahead and they harvest the wood and use it for other purposes, probably like furniture, flooring, whatever. And from what he said, um, what they do from the from when they get done distilling it or whatever, uh, it creates um, oud or UDT, um, which is used in the more expensive colognes and perfumes. And he was saying that that oud, pure oud, um, it sells for like three times what gold goes for. So in today's money, that would be like $7,000 an ounce. Um, makes me kind of go ahead and think about possibly uh, learning more about that and, and going ahead and striking up a career of a bark stripper. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that stuff, it's like high end, and I'm, I'm sure that uh, Rod there and Rod and Mandy there at Sterling didn't use real oud because, like the guy was saying, a uh, four point whatever eight ounce puck would be like a hundred bucks. So um, I took it, shoved it down in the Staconic Urban Wood, dropped in the Staconic Urban Woods. Um, tin and just kind of pressed it down with my hand um, 
and it worked. It ain't falling out. And Dennis not, you know, sent me this stuff, sent me some blades, um, Witcher Blades, uh, Persona Reds, Astra SPs, um, sent me uh, a couple of uh, Vanderhagen soaps, um, a Colonel Conk soap, a uh, couple of samples, um, a Wild Wild West soap, a couple of Razor Rock soaps, so... Thank you, Dennis. Thank you so much. Um, like I told Dennis in an email between the razors I got from Johnny and the soaps that I got from um, Dennis, I've got quite a bit of material for future videos. And, um, and Dennis, I know you're going to watch this, but anyways, uh, I will say this. Um, I never really had very good luck with Williams mug soap uh, when I did have luck in making a lather it dissipated quite quickly so but my girlfriend she absolutely loves it for washing her face so I gave her that she says that soap she loves the smell of the Williams mug soap and she goes ahead and when she washes her face it comes out nice and squeaky clean so I gave that to her and I gave her the melon and cucumber um, uh, sample from Sterling. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's get this shave started. Get a little wetter. Synthetic brushes, I love them. Go ahead and load it from the puck. Kind of an interesting brush design. This 400. Um, it is definitely a tall brush. Um, I've got a Raise two razor rock brushes in the barber handles, acrylic barber handles. Um, I've got a Whip Dog 24 millimeter high mountain white in the tall amber handle, um, and this brush is taller than any one of those three. Yeah, he also sent me a sample of the uh, Wolf Pack uh, Italian Orchard. Um, and that smells very much like, uh, what do you call it, um, Aqua di Parma. Uh, now, I've never used Aqua di Parma, um, however, I do have Sterling's Piacenza, and I have smelt uh, Razor Rock's Triple X. I've used that once uh, when I bought my Fat Boy off of Johnny Palma. Um, he included a tub of P160, Razor Rock P160, and um, a tub of, of Triple X. And I used the Triple X once. But I ended up giving the both both the tubs to my brother because he was down to uh, maybe a between an eighth and a quarter of his Vanderhagen puck. Oh uh, yeah, that's nice. And um, you know he was hurting for certain when it came to the soap to soap. So I sat there and I said, "Hey, dude, um, I just got these. Enjoy." Gave them to him. And it just so happened, one of the soaps I got from this was a full tub of P160 along with a tub of Razor Rock Emperor. So, let me get my face wet. And, um, so, you know, now I got the, had a little bit of soap from the, you know, from the thing and, 
God, the smell of this is just really, really cool. Um, the guy I watched, he didn't mind the scent of this uh, agar um, because he uh, he didn't mind it, but it wasn't one of his. I mean, he didn't didn't you know he didn't place it up there real high because he had some expensive colognes with true. Um, you know, oud in it. So he was like, you know, I don't mind it. It's got a good scent, but you know, um, it ain't the real thing. So, anyways, so let's start leathering here. Oh yeah, I like the yeah. I like this brush right off. Um, yeah, I'm also too in that box from Dennis <laughs> is a Full on bar of um, Sterling's Ice Pineapple Body Soap or Pineapple Chill, whatever it's called. Um, kind of smells a little bit like a cough drop, but I know it's because of the menthol. I don't mind it. I like it actually because pineapple makes it, you know, cough drop in a pleasant way. However, I'm going to make that a summertime soap because the reason why I say that is this. I get in the shower. Oh, okay, let's give it a try. And, uh, <laughs> so, first thing, I, I, I'm not one of those ones that go when I shower, I don't, I don't bathe bottom up. I bathe from head to toe. Because I'm sorry, I don't want to wash my face with a rag that I just relatively early on wash my butt with. So, I go top down. Anyways. I go ahead and I wash my face. And uh, my eyes, my eyelids, they start getting cold. Not real super cold, but they're cooling down that menthol sensation. Oh, oh wow, this is this is a trip. You know, by the way, I've got three days of growth. Um, I was going to shave yesterday, but I want, but I didn't receive this package yesterday, so I want to go ahead and, you know, use whatever Johnny sent me because he told me he said, I'm going to send you some samples, you know, an alum block or some alum. And, uh, and, uh, Witch Hazel, which by the way, he sent Dickinson, Dickinson Witch Hazel, um, and I'm just keeping that until um, my Witch Hazel, Dollar General, runs out, which I'm, you know, that way I ain't got to deal with, you know, go get more, so that's cool and all. Um, he sent me some Vanderhagen soaps, and, uh, I'm going to use those for when the Vanderhagen I'm currently working on goes, runs out. Sent me a Colonel Conk, so it's all cool. It's all good, you know. But anyways, on the Wild Wild West one he sent, I like it because it's like, it looks like a chewing tobacco can lit, a chewing tobacco can. And it's like two ounces of soap, and it's cool. It's cool, you know, Wild West. 
chewing tobacco kind of goes together. Yeah, this, this agar. Yeah, it's, it's just, I like the scent. So, but anyways. Um, oops. Got some soap on the handle of my neck. There we go. Got some heat in the blade. Um, Gillette Silver Blue, first juice. Um, let me go ahead dry this off. And here we go. Let's see how the English neck does. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's, that's, hmm. That feels really nice. So, but yeah, if anybody knows if this is also over in the UK called the Slim Twist, let me know. So, yeah, I like that. So back to the, back to the Sterling Chilled Pineapple. Or iced pineapple. Um, I said in my last video, I'm a hairy dude. Um, I'd say, oh, I don't know. It's oh, I don't know. Very efficient, uh, more aggressive than, say, a tech. Yeah, more aggressive than tech, definitely. Um, techs, they're incredibly efficient for how mild they are. Um, that's why I love techs. Oh yeah, and that, that one tech with the really ornate handle with the gold handle that I said me and my girlfriend thinks maybe looks like a um, knife handle. You know, prettied up and made into a razor handle. Um, I cleaned it up along with the um, cased American new I got from Johnny and uh, that head was absolutely, once I cleaned it up, got the soap scum off it, absolutely beautiful tech head. Um, no soap, I mean, no scratches at all. Um, my girlfriend did not find a single scratch on that head. Um, and... I know the date code was a B, so it was a 1956. I think it was a second quarter, so it would be a B2. So it's definitely a really, really, really nice piece. Um, in that cased new cleaned up real nice too. Anyways, back to the soap. Um, like I said, um, I'm a hairy guy. My description that I gave on the last video made Dennis think of me like a picture of me as a werewolf. Um, but that mentholated soap. It, it really didn't, didn't, the menthol really didn't kick in on most of my body. Except for like I said, around the eyes and up here on the face and on the nose. But other parts of my body, below the waist, where I don't have a lot of hair or men, men parts, um, you know, um, or the hair is not as thick, uh, like such as the boys, um, let's just say the twigs, the berries, and 
the butthole got chilly. <laughs> it was a very strange sensation. So, um, if I grossed you out, sorry, but yeah, it was a weird, weird sensation. And um, so I'm saving that for a summer. So, anyways, let me do this. Oh man, hang on, guys. Got a little bit of soap. I mean, quick little rinse. Let me grab a drink of water here. Last thing I want is mentholated soap in my mouth. Um, so, yeah, that's a uh, sterling, great, great body soap, but much better for a, a summer soap. Oh, yeah. Um, Monday I went in and got, got my biopsy on that, that growth on the left side, in the left, left chest. Um, I was a little, I was a little reluctant about it because my mom, when she had her biopsy like 25 years ago, um, she said it hurt, it hurt bad, um, had her in tears, she said, and so I was a little leery. About mine, but I went in there, sucked it up, did what I had to do as a father and a man, and uh, they uh, gave me a shot of lidocaine after I showed them exactly where it was, and they verified it was there. Um, They marked it with a sharpie, and then uh, took a needle. Oh, I think got some soap in my ears. Darn it! I'm pulling the kids' surfs here, but uh, put put in a. Went in with a needle, and they said, A little bit of pressure will be normal. A lot of pressure, normal, but pain is not normal. If you feel any pain whatsoever, tell us. We will immediately stop. Let me get this soap out of my ears, guys. Uh, just soap out of my ear, guys. But they said, if you feel any pain, you let us know immediately. We will stop, and we will give you some more numbing agent, some more lidocaine. So I'm saying, okay. So they do that, and they said one needle is quiet. I'm like thinking, one needle is quiet. Okay, interesting. And the other needle makes these loud clicks. Um, so if you you know it's a little loud, so don't 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 be startled or scared or anything. I'm like, okay, no problem. Across the grain. Oh yeah, it feels really, really good across the growth. Yeah, um, next video I do with a neck in it, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Because I think, I might be wrong, but I think this one might be, feel slightly more aggressive than the American version. Um... So, go up on the neck, so, um, 
So they said, you know, if, if, if it starts clicking, don't, don't, don't be alarmed. I'm like, okay, no problem. And they said, and that one's going to be bigger. And I'm sitting there thinking, all right, bigger needle, that don't sound fun. But it went normal, no pain, um, which made me very, very happy. So anyhow, um, the doctor took two samples. Each sample she did twice, so, or each run at samples, so she took two samples per run, and then, um, and, uh, art clicked twice. I could feel like at first, I could feel like, oh, I don't know. A slight shocky, a, a shocking sensation, not painful, just like a slight sensation, like something's like boom in my chest. So that was interesting. And she went ahead and did it twice, and then she said, I'm going to take one more. So, because of your family history, because I told her a little bit about, you know, my mother and my grandmother. You know, my mom's still alive, but my grandmother, she was a cancer survivor and finally died of natural causes. And I say, I'm not sure, I think my great-grandma on my mom's side, I couldn't remember. Well, my mom says she don't remember after I'd asked my mom after the biopsy. But um, I said, I think she might have too. So the doctor was like, she's off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take an extra set of samples. I'm like, okay. So then after that, they put this titanium pin in my chest. That way, so if it is malignant, they can go ahead and uh, know right where to go to get that sucker. And then he sent me down, and I can actually say that I've had a mammogram before my girlfriend because um, they couldn't just do an ultrasound, they had to mammogram it to make sure that that pin was in the right place. So, um, and the doctor was going to check it out, you know, because the mammogram, I guess, results are pretty quick so you know um, I went back got dressed and I stayed a couple of extra minutes then they said you're good go home so, now here on the 29th I'm going in gonna go against the growth go up on the neck in the middle and go at an angle on each side because of the way the hair grows in. So on the 29th I see my doctor and um, he'll read the results and uh, I'll let you all know how that turned out because I mean the, I've had a little oops a little bit of interaction with a few of you um, more interaction with um, Johnny and Dennis, of course. Um, but, you know, but I consider, you know, you guys, my subscribers, whether I've um, communicate it with you one time, a hundred times, or no times. I consider each and every one of you kind of special, you know, kind of a special part of this, this YouTube thing. Because, you know, you, you guys go ahead, and, and some of you have your own channels. Um, so...
I consider, um, but I consider each and every one of you part of my life, in a way, kind of, because, I mean, very smooth, very nice against the grain on this one, with this one. Easy to get up under the nose, too, I might add. Um, definitely easier to get under the nose with these than, say, the Gillette Slim adjustable. Um, because it is a pretty, well, I mean, look at that, it's a really, really low profile head, which is cool, uh, like I was saying, you know, you guys, all 37 of you at this time, Y'all go ahead and get the notifications for my channel. And I know some of you probably don't always watch my videos. And I mean, some of you uh, click, click off. And don't even finish the whole video. But, I mean, you know, if you don't, that's alright. I'll hold it against you. So, but yeah, so each and every one of you is kind of special in a way. Because you are part of my channel. And uh, I just really appreciate the hell out of it. Every single subscriber I have. Every single subscriber I get. That's why I like to give the shout outs for every single person. Um, Chris Morley went ahead and he said thanks for the shout out. When I gave him a shout out he said thanks for the shout out. It kind of made me feel famous. And. You know, and like I told them, uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have a channel because it's all of you that make this makes this thing run. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and oh, hang on, missed a little bit right there on the bottom lip. So let me hit this real quick. The rest feels really good though. But, you know, so I told Chris that, hey, you know, y'all, y'all make this thing run. And you do. If it wasn't for my girlfriend, who was my first subscriber, and she even watches my videos sometimes. Um, my friend Christian. Um, Johnny, Dennis, Chris, Sierra, Papa, Bob, um, everybody else that is, that is, Ken Serves, Mel, Warhawk, World, Nick Searles, if it wasn't for all of you guys, I wouldn't have this, I wouldn't have this channel, and if it wasn't for, you know, uh, Dennis and Johnny, I wouldn't have pretty much all this stuff I'm using tonight. So, you know, I I just appreciate all of you. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to rinse off real quick, come back, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, hit my face with the big old alum stick that was included in that package I got today. So, see you in a minute. Yeah, that, that knack, nice smooth shaver. 
mm, really, really happy with that. Anyways, so dance included this, I believe it's Razor Rock alum stick. Um, nice big fat, you know, thing. And it's got this screw top lid here, which is really cool. So I'll just save my small alum block for, you know, not bad. Oh yeah, not a lot of feedback. Um, a little bit around the mouth. But, uh, maybe a little bit down there. Anyways, so, I'll set this over here and let it dry. And I'll set the lid right over there. Um, let that set for a few. But yeah, that, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I really like that. Um, my only, only regret about this agar is that um, it's a limited soap. I don't know if it's still on their site. I would have to see. Um, because if it does, well, even if it, you know, is on their site right now, I probably won't be able to get the splash because it's just a, I mean, that gar is a beautiful scent. And the reason why I won't be able to get the splash is because, um, Black Friday, we're going to go online and we're going to take a look on Razor Emporium and see if they have a Black Friday deal. Um, and... I'm going to order, it's going to be early for, you know, it's going to be an early Christmas gift, but I'm going to be ordering my reproduction Psychotech um, key. So I'll be able to go ahead when I get that, I'll be able to do a shave with an actual uh, Gillette Psychotech. So I'm real happy and excited about that one. So that I'll be an absolutely awesome shave. Anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and cut away here and I'll be back for the post after I shave the noggin. Anyways, see y'all in a minute. That was a absolutely wonderful shave. Um, my face, that British knack just Great shaver, went through three days growth with absolutely no problem. Um, of course, I've got a couple little spots on my noggin that I need cleaned up, but I mean, they're hardly there. So, I mean, I could leave them, no problem, but the majority of my head's pretty much baby butt smooth. Oh, got a little spot right there on the back of my neck. I'll get it real fast. But, uh, yeah, it's a... There we go. Great, great shaver. Um, I really like that British knack. Um, yeah, definitely the next time I use the knack, it'll be a um, shave to shave comparison. American knack on one side, British knack on the other. And we'll see which one is more efficient um, or aggressive, whatever you want to put, whatever you want to say. Um, I think the British knack might just be a little more, um, feel a little slightly more aggressive than the American knack. Um, I could be wrong. So we'll have to see. Anyways, um, before I get into the post shave, I was talking here recently. Um, I believe it was on the J2 adjustable, slim adjustable video, where I was talking about uh, dermat my, yeah, it was that one where my dermatologist has me using this stuff for my face, on my nose, and around my mouth where I got breakouts. Well, uh, it's this stuff. Um, clindamycin phosphate. One moment. Yep, double checked with my girlfriend. Clindamycin phosphate. You basically, you get it, you take the cap off, and you peel back the thing. It comes with this little thing that you push down. 
and it's got like a little material on top and you just shake it up and just rub it in the areas that's affected but I mean it did an incredible job on my nose you probably noticed you guys might have noticed in past videos that I had some issues with my nose uh, those issues are pretty much gone um, it's just great um, wonderful stuff so uh, let's go ahead let's move on to the post anyways so, of course, the Witch Hazel, which I'm running all on, which, hmm, like I said earlier, thanks to Dennis, I got an unopened thing of Dickinson, 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 um, Witch Hazel. So, um, you saw me do the alum on my face. Um, so, with the, with the new alum stick. So, did that, now I'm doing the Witch Hazel, and yeah, and you guys, if you've seen the video, the video I did, where I used an aftershave that was in an old vintage aftershave from Avon, where I wasn't sure what kind of scent it was. I said it might have been slightly musky. Um, I mentioned that uh, Gil over on Second Kind of Cool got a um, an Avon vintage Avon aftershave that was in uh, the decanter was uh, looked like a firehouse bell. And since he's a volunteer fireman, that's why he got it. Or fireman, that's why he got it, because of the bell. And it was, um, you know, it smelled like Old Spice. Well, I found out what that truck one smells like because of an aftershave that Dennis sent me. And it is this one. Panod Clubman, which I've never used this will be the first time I've ever used it. So wait, no, let's put on the post shave bomb first. Let's go ahead and see if we can shake any of this old stuff out. If I can, great. If not, move on. Yeah, a little bit left in this one. I'm not sure what that one is. It's not the, yeah, it's the cooling. I do believe. I can't remember. Can't remember which. So, but it's Nivea. No um, post shave bomb. Yeah, it's the coin. I think <laughs> I could be wrong. Um, it's one of them. A little bit too much, but I was trying to shake what little bit was left out. Um, you know, this hobby cost enough to go ahead and yeah. I actually could have used the Panade first because I think my girlfriend said that it said on it. Coming in from him. Um, aftershave lotion so I don't know but it says it was you know sold at Walgreens whatever so let me go ahead right here put the nod give it a shake yeah I yeah <sighs> I love the smell of this stuff. It's not real. Well, that's got some burn. Oh, burn, baby, burn. Yeah, I don't know if that's got lotion in it. If it does, it's pretty thin. Good restrictor on this stuff. 
I know that like Paul H and some of the other guys mm. they decant it. Um, oh yeah, oh I like this stuff. I'm gonna take a second hit of that. Oh yeah, this this Panad Clubman. Absolutely great. Absolutely great. I'm definitely going to have to get some more of it when it starts running low. That is definitely a keeper. Mm. For non-artisan stuff, yeah. Of course, I've never had any artisan aftershaves, so I can't compare. Oh, God, I love that smell. Um, that, yeah, that, that stuff in the, in the, that old Avon one, it's damn near a dead ringer for that Panad Clubman, so that's really cool, except for, like I said, the, the, the one in the semi has a slight hint of musk to it, um, I'll have to check them again later, um, just to make sure, but yeah, so that's cool. Um, if I want vintage Panad scent or Clubman scent, I got it now. So, but yeah, mm. oh, I love that. Mm, yeah, that's a winner. Thank you, Dennis. Anyways, so let's take a quick look at what we used. The Razor, 1967, first quarter, British Knack. Twist open razor, where the TTO band or knob is up here on the neck instead of down here at the end of the handle. Once again, neck is K N A C K. The brush was the Razor Rock 400 synthetic, um, whipped up a beautiful, beautiful lather. The razor, great shave. Great shaving razor, wonderful head shaver. The blade was a Gillette Silver Blue um, on its first use. The soap is Sterling's Agar um, that I smushed down into was a sample puck, uh, or not sample puck, a, a you know. Refo puck, which I smushed down into the um, Taconic Urban Woods metal tin, um, and it works just absolutely great. Um, wonderful soap, beautiful scent. I really like it. That is definitely a home run when it comes to cologne type scents. Uh, the post shave was. Dollar General Witch Hazel, followed by Nivea Aftershave Balm. That's either the regular or the cooling. I think it's regular because it wasn't real cooling. Um, and that was followed by Panad Clubman Aftershave. Um, beautiful scent on that. Really, really like it. Um, Everything, everything that I used tonight was an absolute wonderful choice, uh, absolute winner, all the way around. Um, definitely, definitely enjoyed this shave. Anyways, I'd like to thank all of you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, likes, comments are always appreciated. I always try and get back to any comments if I can. Um, once again, shout out to Bob Su Zeus, uh, and if you do subscribe, go ahead, hit that little bell icon to get notified of any future videos that I release, whenever I release them. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me by email, my email address, all lowercase, just lance59 at gmail.com. Um, Thank you everybody for joining me, I hope you all take it easy, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.